and I've already got this strop ready to go. This one's brand new, haven't used it yet, so for today, I'm gonna use this one. You can see I've got my stropping compound or paste on there. Uh, some folks sell it in a block. It looks like wax. Uh, you can see some of that on here. It just doesn't work as well. I really like the powder stropping compound. Again, uh, it's a white lithium, I mean a white aluminum oxide, excuse me. Um, Sirius does a, does a great job carrying those products. Now when we strop, we want to go backwards. So we don't want to go forward because we're going to cut the leather. So you want to strop backwards and we're basically polishing at this point. So nice even strokes. It should move and glide relatively smoothly. Doesn't matter the number of strokes. Uh, that's a personal preference. As long as it's even on all three sides, that's the key. You can see I've got I've got some stropping compound, kind of kind of sticking to the blade paste a little bit. That's okay. We got two more blades to go, so. Doesn't matter what side you start on as long as it's nice and even. Nice even pressure. I'm gonna probably retire this strop soon and just use it for my knives and start using my new strop from Sirius. I really like the length of that. I can, I'll be able to get twice the stroke and won't have to do as many. And I feel like it's just a nice even plane. But in a pinch, we're gonna keep this one as well. And that blade's gliding really, really nicely. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I think the oil actually helps the blades a little bit too. Let's face it, you're gonna be out in uh, inclement weather, wet weather, snowy weather. So through the sharpening process, you're actually oiling the blade as well. Can't imagine having a rusty broadhead in my quiver. It just doesn't sound good. And there you go, guys. We gotta clean her up just a little bit, but she is sharp. Um, you can do the paper test where you just run some paper over it. I'll show you here. I'm just going to use this uh, some junk mail here. Very simple to do. You can use any kind of notebook paper. All we're going to do is we're going to take the paper and glide. I want to check all three. It should be it should be slick. It should be it should be really smooth. And you know, you can see we've got some really nice clean tears. Uh, that's what we're looking for. You can see there, I'll put a little bit more pressure on it just for demonstrating person. This is absolutely ready to hunt with. So if you guys found this video uh, helpful, useful, smash that like button, uh, follow along, and we'll see you soon.